Y'all already know what time it is, honey. It is time for the mix. What's going on, y'all? This be your boy Scotty by Nature TV, and I'm here for a third time today for another episode of Yes for the Mess, and I'm here to talk about Monique Samuels, who is formerly of the Real Housewives of Potomac. Now, I thought I was done doing videos until Growing Up Hip Hop came on and Chasing LA, but one of my subscribers, um, and I'm just going to say your name, honey, because you've been watching me for a long time, obviously, Lee. Um, she's been watching me for quite some time now. Um, she sent me a couple of things. As a matter of fact, it wasn't just me that she sent it to. Um, she sent it to, uh, myself, Erica, Jamie, Brooke, and Rodney, okay? And it was about Monique, uh, Samuels and her delusions at this moment. Now, um, apparently she's saying that Bravo is censoring her. That's what she says. And I don't see why the hell would they be censoring her when she don't even work for their ass no more. Shouldn't you be free? <laughs> free at last, free at last. Okay, um, however, what's been going on is a fan wrote Monique on Instagram, because I got screenshots because, you know, the, the subscriber sent it to me. Um, the screenshot says, I just realized Instagram made my account unfollow you. So Monique responds with, Yes, they've been doing it. Every time I get a new follow, they remove someone. Thank you for calling this out. I've been reporting this constantly to them. Then someone else said, yes, I have noticed it too. I have reported it too. Then Monique says, Instagram is tripping and I wouldn't be surprised if NBC Universal has something to do with this. Shame on them. Somebody made a tweet saying, Monique and her crew are now saying that Bravo is behind one of their fan pages being taken down and shadow banning Monique's personal page. Hashtag Real Housewives of Potomac. And there's more screenshots that I was sent from her Instagram story. Basically saying her channel T with Monique episode. She was saying these slave drivers been effing with my page for months. Um, she's telling people to share it. Hashtag corporate bullying. Hashtag let my people go. Hashtag four years of slave. Hashtag slave drivers. If they remove my page, make sure you follow my YouTube or Patreon. And then it says, look how quickly the numbers drop once they realize what I was posting. Blankton censoring ship. Keep sharing. That's pretty much the situation with Monique. So it ain't so it really ain't no article reporting this. This is just some shit that she's saying, okay? It ain't no blog sites reporting it, but since they asked me to talk about it, I'm just gonna fucking talk about it, okay? Now honestly, I've been trying to stay far away from Potomac ever since this last season ended because y'all know the people gave me a hard ass time on the last season of Potomac, which kind of put a lot of things in per to perspective for me, honestly, which is partially why I've decided to kind of be a little bit more refined, tone it down just a little bit. It's like maybe I am a little bit harsh or brash or offensive to people, and I don't want to be like that because that's not even my personality. It's just that these damn reality shows can bring out the worst thing you when you're talking about a child. Some shit can trigger the hell out of you, just like it can trigger the hell out of the fans sometimes, too. I just got to give it to you. But, um, Monique has been doing a lot of questionable things lately, and I just think that she just needs to give it a break. First off, you came to the reunion with this fucking binder. That's number one. I was here for it, so I'm not going to take that from her. But now she's off the show. Now she got a whole binder series. What's it called? Binder, whatever it's called. She just doing shit with that binder. Now she's trying to, um... I guess capitalize off of that prop that she brought to the reunion which didn't really do no damage because we only got to see one page and that's it after the first part of the reunion we ain't see that damn binder no more so it's kind of like okay girl it was cute when you first did it but now you're making a whole binder series it's like okay girl let it go or she's on youtube which is fine do your thing i mean i don't watch her youtube but you know do your thing um then she's doing, um, now she's talking about Bravo and NBC is trying to censor her. I don't think they're trying to censor you, to be honest, Monique, and that ain't no shade. That's just real shit. I don't think that they're censoring you. What the fuck would they need to censor your ass for? You don't work for them anymore. You're not under contract with them anymore. What would be the need for them to censor you? 
I just feel like you losing your damn mind. Ever since you left the show, quit the show, whatever the fuck you did, you like, like it's kind of like you losing your mind right now. And like last season was the season where, although I was dragging you, I was being called out for riding for you. And I really wasn't riding for you. It was just being, it was called being objective when it came down to the situation at hand with you and Mo, with, with you and Candace. But I, I just, I don't know, girl. Like, I, I, Monique just, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, it ain't even nothing to be defended on at this point. Because it's like, girl, what the fuck you doing? Like, why are you so bothered? Or why are you pressed by this whole little situation? It's kind of like, girl, like, let the show go. Leave it be. If you don't want to be on the show no more, that's cool. It's fine. We understand, girl. But just let it go. Like, let it go. Move on. Leave it be. That's how I feel. Because if I was no longer on that damn show, I wouldn't even be doing no binder shit. I wouldn't even be talking about this show. Let if we be in 100, I wouldn't even be talking about this goddamn show. I wouldn't even give a fuck about it no more. Who cares? They ain't paying me no more. I ain't getting no checks from it no more. Like who cares? It's kind of like it's ever since she left the show, she's been doing a lot of crazy ass shit. And I'm just trying to understand what 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 is wrong with her. Like girl, what's wrong with you? You really believe that that's what's going on? Like girl, when I'm on Instagram, it's a lot of folks that have been unfollowed. And I didn't even unfollow them. It it happens to everyone. It happens to everyone. It ain't got nothing to do with that. So I'm guessing YouTube making me unfollow certain people. Because there were people that I was following at one point, And I looked up and I wasn't following them no more. And I didn't understand uh, what, what the issue could have been. But sometimes on Instagram, when you unfollow somebody, if they unfollow you, they can also uh, remove your follow with them. That can also happen. If Little do you know. So I don't... Like, listen, I don't know. I don't know, but I think that Monique is like, girl, what is wrong with you, girl? Like, leave that show me, leave that show me, girl. Like, I don't understand what the hell going on, girl. To me, it's like, at this point, you left the show, and now you, like, <laughs> you girls at Bravo be killing me, child. Y'all be killing me, because... The way Nene is, she acting the same way Nene be, is acting. She acting the same way Mariah is acting. And y'all know I don't care for neither Nene nor Mariah. And I'm very indifferent to Monique. So I don't know what to say about her. But they all acting the same damn way. Now, it was all good when y'all was there. But now that y'all leaving there. Or now that y'all gone or been fired or whatever the fuck happened to y'all. Now y'all want to call them slave owners and slave masters and shit. But y'all was fine with being a slave while y'all was y'all them damn years. I don't know what the fuck wrong with Monique. But Monique just need to calm the fuck down. Like, I guess her podcast ain't working. I guess she's just trying to find whatever she can to keep that little bit of relevance that she did have. Like, what you could have done was use your platform for another reason. But instead, you just wanted to be known as somebody's wife. And all this other stuff. And then you started fighting and shit. And it's like, girl, like at this point, just let it, just leave it be. You have ruined your own reputation in these streets. It's not, it's not defensible. Like, you can't be defended on this either. There's nothing that can be said at this point. So, I don't know, girl. I, I just don't know. I don't know what to say about your ass. But, girl, wake up and smell the Folgers. Or the Maxwell House. Whichever kind of coffee you drink. The community. Whichever one you drink. You need to wake up and smell it. Because something, like... Something is off. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what you could do to turn that light bulb right back on. But you kind of off right now. Ooh, Monique girl. My heart goes out to you, and I'm gonna keep you in my prayers. But um, that's honestly all I gotta say about Monique. Honestly, like I want. I like this video was never in the plans. I'm only doing it because a subscriber of mine asked me to do it. You know what I mean? One of my take on it and all this other stuff. So what do you guys think about that? Do y'all think that Monique is going crazy? Do you really believe that Bravo is trying to sabotage her because she's no longer on their uh, network? Or y'all just don't give a fuck? <laughs> Leave it below. Uh, with that being said, y'all, um, be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. Um, if you want to follow me on any social media, my Twitter and Instagram will be at the bottom of this video, okay? With that being said, you guys, I'm out of here until my next video. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.